My name is Queen Etichuma. That's Queen of the Q-U-E-N-E-A-R-T-H. Queen of the Earth. <laughs> you sound so nice. Like <laughs> You're proud of your name. Yes, of course. <laughs> I want to have four children. Because if I have one, she will be alone. If I have two, one day the other will be alone. If I have three, the two will be friends and the other will not be alone. So I better have four. <laughs> I am 17 years old. My mother left me when I was five months old and I never knew my father. So I lived with my grandmother and my grandfather to take care of me. There are many orphans in this country just because of AIDS. So many orphans. Maybe three quarters of the school are orphans. Ah. The other young mother of mine, whom I love so much, she passed away last of last year, on February, last of last year. And it was, a, I felt so much pain. She did a lot to me. She meant a lot to me. She just collapsed and died. Poverty, poverty. I've sacrificed just because of poverty. School is the first in my life, the one that gives me a bit of fish. I set the alarm at exactly 4 o'clock a.m., put on my uniforms, and then I come to school. My home is 11 k's from this school. 11, 11 k's? How long does it take you to walk 11 k's? One hour, 30 minutes. I get home at 6 30 p.m., so I start cooking for my grandparents, and then I'll be tired. It's an interesting challenge. Here in Zimbabwe, it seems like from the very beginning of your lives, you're taught that your importance has to do with what you can do for other people. Yes, that's true. I think it can make Zimbabwe a developed country, but only if the country can provide employment for the, for the people. I think books, if you can still make books, that help me in my performance. Science. I love science, but science textbooks, we share them in the ratio of one to three. I wish I could have my own personal code so that I should improve my hands and uh, maybe money for paying fees. I think that would be best for me. It gives me a bit of fish.